Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah. I was recently asked a question by one of our beloved brothers, a new student at the Jama Islamiyya, the Islamic University of Medina, as I was blessed to meet the brother and, and some other brothers, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve them all, ameen, and bless us all to go forward and be du'at al-khair, ameen, ya rabbil alameen. And so he asked for some advice as a new student. And I gave him some very brief advice, but I thought about it a lot since that uh, meeting. And I just wanted to say just a couple of points. Uh, in my studies and from some advice from some of the ulama of Ahl Sunnah of general advice regarding uh, studying. And one of the things, of course, first and foremost, is to remember that seeking knowledge is a type of ibadah. So very, very important that a person has sincerity. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and they weren't commanded except to worship Allah alone and uh, establish the prayer and pay the zakat. Uh, and that is a straight uh, religion. That's the religion of Hanafiya. So it's very important to realize that you are embarking on a path of knowledge <coughs> in a path which is bringing you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, of course, in the hadith, which is well known, in the ma'amal of binya, verily actions are tied to the intentions. And everyone will get that for which he intended. So it's very important to know that our actions are acts of ibadah. In order for them to be accepted, they have to be uh, sincerely done to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's worship. And other than that is a form of shirk. And that also to have our deeds accepted is that they are in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. And the only way you're going to know those things uh, is by studying the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasalam. So it's very important to have sincerity on this path. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, which is very relevant for our discussion, Alayhi salatu wasalam, and this should show us and should strike fear in our heart all the way until we're in the grave. That not only embarking on the path of knowledge for you, but while on that path and after that path and da'wah and everything that you do, it should be just sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as uh, in regards to ibadah. The Prophet sallallahu said, In the awwal al-nas yuqda alayhi yawm al-qiyamah rajlun ustushida fa'utiya bihi fa'arafu ni'amu fa'arafaha qala fama'amalta fiha qala qataltu fika hatta ustushida qala kadhabt wa lakinna ka fa'alta li yuqal huwa jari faqad qil thumma umina bihi fa suhiya bala wajihi hatta ulkil finnar The Prophet sallallahu said that the first three on the day of judgment that will be judged will be a man who is killed, who is martyred. And he will be uh, brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask, uh, what did you do? He will say, I fought for your sake had, uh, until I was a martyr. Allah will say, you lied. Or rather you did it so that the people would say that you were brave and it was said. And then he was dragged into the fire. That lets us know that what? That even an act is magnanimous as uh, jihad fi sabilillah and being martyred in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if a person's intention is not correct then they can be that same deed can enter into the fire it can help them go to paradise or it can help them to go to nar and what is the thing that makes that uh, distinguishes one from the other it's the intention so making your intention sincere then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned the second one وَرَجْلٌ تَعْلَمَ الْعِلْمُ وَعَلْمُهُ وَقَرَأَ الْقُرْآنِ قَالَ فَمَا عَمَلْتَ فِيهَا قَالَ تَعْلَمْتَ الْعِلْمُ وَعَلْمْتُهُ وَقَرَأْتَ فِيكَ الْقُرْآنِ قَالَ كِذَّبْتُ وَلَكِنَّكَ فَعَلْتَ لِي قَالْ هُوَ عَالِمٌ وَقَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ لِي تُقَالْ هُوَ 
Ariun faqil thumma umira bihi fasuhib ala wajhi hatta luka fi an-nar. So the second one uh, is the person who will be brought before Allah Azza wa Jal and ask what did you do for my sake or what did you do? He will say I read the Quran or I learned knowledge <coughs> I learned knowledge ta'allamtu al-'ilm wa 'allamtu and 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 I taught it. So this is the state of the the scholars, the students of knowledge, the du'at. I learned knowledge and I taught it. And I read the Quran and I was a beautiful reciter. You know, I was a, a recited for your sake. Allah will say you lied, but rather you did it so that the people would say that you were an alim and, or, and you read the Quran so that people would say you were a beautiful reciter. And then what does he say, subhanahu wa ta'ala, faqad qil. And it was said about you. So, he, you know, seeking that praise, you, meaning you got your jaza. Fidunya, you got your reward in this life. That the people praise you, the people gave you many likes, the people raised you up, the people gave you money, you got married to 25 wives, you did this, you did this. You got all the things of the dunya that you wanted. So that's why it's important for us every minute. It's not just, it's not in the beginning of your Talib al Am, just, it's all the way, it's until you're in the grave. It's right now, as you listen and as I speak. It's always. The ulama, they say that that's one of the hardest things. I think it was a, uh, uh, attributed to Imam Malik or one of the uh, one of our beloved Salaf, in which he said that that's one of the most difficult things is to keep the intention pure. And the third one in the Hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, "Well, so the last part of the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the person who spins in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he's brought before Allah, he's asked what he would do. He said, I spent, I, he said, I didn't leave any way of spending except that I did it for your sake. Meaning he spent it in every way, every kind of charity, every kind of good that you could spend with your wealth, wealth, he did it. And then Allah will say, after all of that, you lied. But rather you did it so that the people would say you were uh, a spendthrift or there's an, um, a... I forgot the uh, word in English, but anyway, you're you're one who spends uh, your wealth, you know, as uh, Bill Gates and and others who are competing to uh, get rid of the most wealth. So the shahid is that sincerity. That's the first thing I want to advise with. The salaf used to say, "Talib al Am, Talib al Jannah." Seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. So remember that that your path that you're on, and I love I love visiting uh, the students and seeing them, especially in Medina uh, and, and in Mecca and those places when you see all the tulab al ilm in the masajid. You know, just you know, they're 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 not in the mall. They're not in the ice cream parlor. They're not, they're they're in their in the lonely path with their books, memorizing, and preparing for exams, preparing themselves, cr increasing their ibadah. I saw a jamaat. They were going for umrah. You know, on on fiq and be in the law sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Talib al ilm wajimun ala kulli muslima, muslim wa muslima. The Prophet ﷺ said, seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every man, Muslim, uh, male Muslim, and female Muslim, meaning that you need to gain a certain amount of knowledge, all of us, in order to practice our deen. We need to know about tawheed, we need to know about. Uh, 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 basic fiqh, you know, related to our prayer and, and other acts that are an obligation upon us, all of that comes through ilm. So you're on the brightest path. But again, it's that sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, another aspect and what proves this point is the Prophet ﷺ said, Man ilman, sahla Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. The Prophet ﷺ also said, and this shows that Allah loves the Talib al-Am. So you're on the path. Allah has invited you, blessed you, granted you this opportunity. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. And we're going to talk I'm gonna, in this advice 
uh, give you some of the things uh, what to avoid. That the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, so showing us that that's the path of Jannah. As we mentioned, we mentioned uh, Hadith, we mentioned uh, Athar of the Salaf. That seeking knowledge is the path to Jannah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Man yurid Allah will be khair in your the deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, he gives him understanding of the religion. Why? Because understanding of the deen shows you that you can practice based on ilm, wa fiqh, and you can call nas bi mu'adha, hasana wa basira, that you can call the people with hikmah and wisdom and insight and ilm. So it's very important. This is a very important path. So first, be sincere. The second thing I want to mention, and this is what we were advised by Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamahu wa yaskinahu fi jannat al-Firdaus, ameen, ya rabbil alameen. He mentioned four things. He said, he said, memorize the Quran, or, you know, memorize as much as you can of the Quran. And he, we were all foreign students, all mainly Americans that in that sitting, in Swedish and possibly a British brother. <coughs> And he said, you know, memorize uh, the Quran, learn Arabic, you know, learn what's what's sufficient for you in the in the Arabic language, and something from the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. And he said, avoid kathra taqil wa qal. So that's the advice of Imam Muqbil. that you and the the kathra taqil wa qal meaning don't get yourself involved in in issues and backbiting and gossip and namima. And, you know, attacking and wondering about these guys, are they on, on it or off it and getting involved in those affairs. Be busy with your talib al-ilm and you'll see the difference at the end. The one who got involved in the affairs, what he gains, some of them don't even finish their studies. And the one who busied himself and knew he gave the jamia and he gave his dressa, it's haq. So there's going to be a difference. So be one of the ones who gives it, it's haq. Imam Ahmed al-Najmi also said, and this is, uh, from my reading, what I recall, he meant, he was asked this very question, you know, I'm a student in the u university, should I, uh, you know, study outside? And, and, and he basically said, to, uh, to, to uh, summarize what he said, is that, uh, you know, the gem bena khayrain, that, you know, putting gaining both benefits is is excellent meaning that you but he said concentrate on your studies that you've been uh brought to the islamic verse university to study and at the same time try to spend some time at least with ulama you know gain you know in those halakat uh, of elm and and i want to mention something related to this in my experience what i've seen is i've seen cer certain brothers that graduated and they didn't sit with ulama. They really concentrated on their studies. And you can see a khalal. You can see a difference in what they gained and the ones who sat with the ulama. And even some who didn't study in the jamia but sat with ulama. There's going to be a difference. There are different things you're going to get in the classroom compared to even the masail and the things that you're going to go into depth in those personal halakat or those big durus, you know, with great imams like Imam Abdul Rahsan al Abad and others that you won't get in the classroom. So my advice is to take, you know, when you feel you have the ability, have some outside the rules. And definitely, even if it's just to go see that imam, you should not be in Medina missing imam Abdul uh, uh, al-Abad. You should not. You must, bi'idnillah, this is my advice, that you must spend, you know, even if it's once he teaches, this imam is devoting his, devoted his life in the haram. He's teaching six days a week. He always has been. Try to take one day, one day from your studies. I think it's between Maghrib and Aisha, if I recall, and get in there. Even if you don't understand, get the adjur and, and watch the asloob. So you're going to tell them a couple of things from those ulama. The ulama, what you won't get in the classroom in the same way is you're going to uh, the, 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 the amount of ilm and the, 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 the fiqh and the fiqh fi deen. It's not going to be the same. Number two, you're going to learn some, the, the manners of an alam. Especially, I, I'm not just saying sitting with any, you know, that's beautiful. There's a lot of mashayikh there, a lot of mashayikh that are less. But if you sit with an alam, at least a little bit, you're going to get something different. And you'll see what I mean when it comes to questions and answers and just watching their slub and watching their itqan and alam. Watching their level and oh, and strength and knowledge. Right. 
So the next point I want to mention is very important to have husn al-sahbah, having good companions, having good people around you, not people who are going to waste your time and distract you and get you into fitna. Uh, the things to avoid, sins and wasting time. Uh, and a last piece of advice I want to say is concentrate and get strong in those sciences. So since you're studying the Arabic language right now, make sure you get itqan. Because that's going to be the key for everything. Because when you're weak in Arabic, you're going to be weak. And it's going to be more difficult to understand fiqh, to understand tafsir, to understand, you know, all the sciences. But especially certain sciences. Uh, and usul of fiqh and qa'id fiqiyah, they, they need language, you know. And, and so, uh, and, and strengthen the language. And so it's very important to try, try your best to get strong in the sciences as you're studying them. You know, so don't Mickey Mouse, but get in there. And... To memorize as much as you can, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.